I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's lesson is how to draw a diagram of the inside of a check wagon. I'm going to come over here on the left and put two fingers at the bottom and put a dot and over on the right two fingers and put a dot. I go back to my first dot and I'm going to draw a baby circle. Come to the right side, draw a baby circle. Come back to the left, put a dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a bigger circle. Come on the right, put a dot, and I'm going to draw another circle. Now I come back to the left and I mimic that circle again all the way around. Connect. Do it on the left. I have to do it on the right. Mimic that line all the way around and connect. Come inside and draw one, two straight lines. 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 Come on the right hand side. One, two straight lines. 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 Now I come back over here on the left and I draw a straight line out, straight diagonal up, straight line down, connect. Right about midpoint up at the top, I draw a straight line all the way around, uh, across, little straight line down, connect. Come down to the bottom, we're going to draw another straight line across, connect, and one more floating. Okay, I come down to the bottom and I just draw a straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line. Okay, now I come up to the top. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. One more, straight line, curve line, connect. Okay, what we have just drawn is as if we had taken off the, the tarp of the top of our um, chuck wagon and now we're going to start filling it in with the things that would go inside of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up and I'm going to put a number one with a circle and I'm going to draw a curve line, come back to the left, curve line down, curve line over, come up to the right, Curve line down, connect. Come back to the left, draw another curve line and a baby rectangle inside. Now I draw a curve line down, curve line, curve line down. Come up to the top, draw a curve line over, come down to the bottom, draw a curve line over. Right next to it I draw a little flat oval. I draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line down, connect, straight line up, little rectangle at the top. And this is a barrel of water, very important for the chuck wagon. And where would it go down here on our diagram? Right here at the back. So I write a number one. So I know this part of my picture belongs on this section of my Chuck wagon. Okay, now I come up and I do a number two and I put it in a circle. I come over to here and I draw a flat oval, straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. Come on the left and put a little baby half circle, little baby half circle on the right. Come back to the left and draw a curved line up curve line down, connect. This is a very important pot because this is what would have 
beans going for the whole entire day while the cowboys are out rustling the cattle. So this would be hot from the fire, so I put little squiggle lines. And number two would come over here because this is the part where we would have our cooking going on. You didn't cook inside the chuck wagon, you cooked outside like as if you were camping on a campfire. Now I do number three and I draw straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal, little straight line, connect, put a little tiny baby circle there. Now I come up this corner and I put a big curved line, come back, straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up, and inside I draw curved lines. This also was a very important piece of cookware. This was a frying pan and besides frying meat like bacon, it really was used to make biscuits. So I'm going to put biscuits. And this also went on the campfire. So over here I'm just going to put a number three. So I'm stacking up all the food that I would cook over on this side on my campfire. So where is my campfire? It's number four. And what I do is I start and I put a dot and I draw a curve line out, in, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. And then I put one, two, three, four, five straight lines and then come back and mimic them so that that's my wood. And this is very important. The campfire had to always be going. So I'm going to put my campfire down here, number four. That campfire would have cooking going on it all entire day. Okay. Number five. I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down, curved line over, straight line up. Up at the top, I just draw a little curved line connect on the left and a little curved line connect on the right. And this is a bag of flour. Now, they could not bring fresh foods per se, so they would always have plenty of flour. So I'm going to put number five inside, but the bottom part of my chuck wagon. And not only would I have flour, but number six, I would have slightly curved line, straight line, slightly curved line, straight line, little curved line on the right, little curved line on the left. This would be beans. You would have a lot of beans, but you couldn't keep a lot of fresh, fresh foods. It would be, they would call these dry goods. Next, if I did have any vegetables at all, they would be called root vegetables. They're the kind that stay for a long time, so we're going to draw a curved line, come back to the left, straight line down, curved line, straight line up. And inside, I'm just going to put some curved lines, and these would be potatoes and onions. And those also would come inside the chuck wagon and be stored down below, okay? Next, number eight, I would usually have a cubby, a cupboard. It would be square, rectangle, straight line in the middle, one baby circle, another baby circle. I would put my coffee and my sugar. You know, you can't bring your whole entire kitchen, but you do want to have coffee and you might have a little bit of sugar. So that's number eight, and that would probably be up on this part of, part of the uh, chuck wagon. Next, in order to cook anything fresh, meat, I'm going to put a straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line across, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line across. Put a little straight line on the left and a little baby square. 
and this is a spit S P I T and this is what you would put your fresh meat that you hunted on that day so that could be deer or, or squirrels or birds or whatever you could find fresh and the spit would come away from the chuck wagon but it would still be here number nine over here by your campfire so it'd still be there then number ten would be a flat oval little straight line on the left little straight line on the right connect the two put a little tiny flat oval straight line curve line straight line up connect and a curve line and these would be ten plates and cup because you would not have anything made out of pottery or glass because it would break so everything was made out of metal and then finally probably the most important thing still today is let's draw a curve line straight line little curve line on top at the left bring curve line up straight diagonal down curve line over straight diagonal down curve line probably the most important thing of all the coffee pot and that also would be made out of metal that also would be going on the um, campfire full steam ahead and um, oops I forgot to put number 10 is right here those are for my plates and cups and number 11 would come back over here right where the uh, campfire is okay let's see how we're going to color this in okay so the most important thing about making a diagram is to make sure that you can see what you're trying to show so I'm just going to color in my wheels on my chuck wagon this is the outside rim I'm going to color in this part and again this is the outside rim and part of this is just so that I can see what I'm doing and then this I would color lightly brown and add some yellow and this would be the base part of my chuck wagon okay now I would go ahead also and use my brown and do these are the arches that would keep my tarp or my cover on top but we don't want that to show because we're trying to put all of our things together alright now I come up to number one this is a barrel everything was made out of wood or metal on these chuck wagons because it wouldn't break you're going over rough land no roads so you don't want anything that's going to be breakable if you have gray you can make your little cup gray and you can put some blue so you remember that this was their water barrel and that's why it came over here on the bottom because then they could come and get a drink of water and not bug the cook next is our pot of beans which was always a standard so I'm going to use my gray pretty much as everything is one color and I'm going to lightly color my beans brown next my frying pan and my frying pan would be black would be one of those old-time frying pans but I don't want to color so dark I can't read but that it says biscuits and lightly I'm gonna do my biscuits brown and some people might go well, that's weird they don't have enough they didn't have ovens back then for in a chuck wagon next here's my campfire probably the most important thing you had to have that campfire going all the time because you would cook things in succession so first you would do the beans then you would do this then you would have coffee going flour I'm just gonna put two little gray lines beans two little gray lines and those are important because they were made out of sacks 
so they wouldn't want them to get gnawed into by rodents or there were no you know Tupperwares or anything next my potatoes and onions I'm gonna do brown I come down and I do my little cupboard this is my little cubbies one side has coffee one side has sugar next is my spit this also was important they couldn't take meat with them because there was no refrigerators so they would have to kill something in order to get fresh meat oops I forgot my fire so they would go out and hunt every day let's do one two three just so that you remember that this also is over the fire a lot of things have to be cooked okay my tin plates would be that speckled metal okay those wouldn't break my coffee pot I'm gonna make gray okay now the main thing to remember is the number correlates to the picture if you wanted to I wonder if you could cut it out and put paste them there but who knows okay let's see what it looks like all colored in okay here is my diagram of the inside parts of a chuck wagon all colored in this was a request and that person wanted me to draw a cowboy or cook or somebody inside here a little too busy and that's not how they did it anyways the cook or the cowboy would be on the outside okay bye bye